An ambitious rapid transit study is underway in Hamilton focused on light rail transit on the B-Line from McMaster University to Eastgate Square. B-Line LRT will provide high capacity east-west rapid transit through the heart of the city. It will link key local destinations, form the backbone of the Hamilton Public Transit Network and provide enhanced connections to GO Transit. This presentation examines the case for LRT in Hamilton and will consider lessons learned from similar transit projects throughout North America. Modern day light rail vehicles are sleek, spacious and double the capacity of standard buses, providing a comfortable experience for riders and increased accessibility with large doors and 100% low floors. LRT trains run on electricity, street level, with dedicated stations, frequent service and quick journey times with zero emissions. A new LRT system will operate in dedicated lanes with stops every 800 meters along most of the B line and stops every 400 meters downtown. With high capacity modern vehicles in dedicated lanes, LRT will move more people to more places faster. The B line LRT will consist of 17 stops across 14 kilometers of the lower city along Main and King Streets in the West End and King Street, Main Street, and Queenston Road in the East End with an approximate travel time of 30 minutes from end to end. LRT will be located within walking distance of about 20% of Hamilton residents and 32% of businesses. Key destinations include McMaster University and McMaster Innovation Park, downtown Hamilton and the Central Business District, Copps Coliseum and Iverwind Stadium, Hunter Street GO Transit Terminal, hospitals, shopping, entertainment and civic buildings. Transportation choices can shape cities. After the Second World War, a huge demand for automobiles caused an increase in suburban land development. In this image, we compare 1967 Hamilton to our city as it is today, noting the changes brought about primarily by vehicles. Sprawl and suburban living go together. Limited suburban transit options force people to rely on their vehicles and with so many people driving to work, heavy congestion is now the norm on the daily commute. Congestion has environmental implications since slow-moving vehicles produce greenhouse gases at higher rates and harmful emissions are also released in larger amounts. Research shows that sprawl can lead to an inactive lifestyle, higher rates of obesity and heart disease. By contrast, people who live in dense, pedestrian-friendly communities served by rapid transit are much more likely to live active lifestyles, leading to significant overall health benefits. Public transit has a unique ability to shape land use through transit-oriented development which combines residential and commercial uses. These areas don't exclude autos, but the look and feel of such neighborhoods strongly encourages people to walk, cycle and take transit to many urban destinations and amenities located just minutes away. For those living along transit routes, dependence on cars can be dramatically reduced or eliminated. LRT examples from cities in Europe and throughout North America show that LRT ranks as the best transit option to encourage transit-oriented development. An LRT station offers a permanent reference point, a development anchor. Studies in several North American cities show that people will want to live close to LRT stations and that they prefer rail over buses due to a more comfortable experience and a smoother ride. Overall, LRT attracts more by-choice riders who could otherwise drive. While many people often associate LRT with European cities, it is surprisingly prominent in North America. There are LRT systems in 24 cities in the United States, two in Canada and three in Mexico, with many other cities now planning for LRT. Since 2000, eight cities have begun implementing new services and several system extensions. Calgary has one of the most successful LRT systems in North America. Aided by inexpensive construction and low operating expenses, the cost works out to about 27 cents per passenger.
With three lines totaling 45 kilometers and another line under construction, the C train carries some 280,000 passengers per day, the highest ridership of any North American LRT system. In Portland, Oregon, the LRT system spans 70 kilometers with a ridership of 123,000 per day. Transit-oriented development near Portland's LRT areas totaled $8 billion, while total employment doubled in the downtown core. Buffalo unveiled its 10.2-kilometer single-line LRT system along the Central Main Street corridor in 1985. The route fell short of expectations due to a rapidly declining core population and a costly decision to put much of the system underground. Ridership is at 21,800 per day and significant corridor redevelopment has not yet happened. The Buffalo example shows that if the timing is wrong and a city is experiencing strong demographic and economic headwinds, LRT has little chance for success. Lessons learned from other cities suggest that bus service should be viewed as a complement to LRT, not a rival. B-Line LRT in Hamilton would link many of the most important destinations in the city and a reconfigured bus network would act as a feeder. The A-Line with links from the waterfront to the B-Line at Hamilton International Airport will be particularly important as will frequency of service. LRT service will run every four minutes during peak times and connectivity to the larger region will be enhanced with expanded GO service. As the BLAST network evolves, the potential for multiplier effects will increase. We've often heard the phrase, timing is everything. In the case of LRT, a number of positive factors have prompted many to conclude the time is right for LRT in Hamilton. The public policy environment for developing modern transit in Hamilton seems favorable. Both provincial and municipal governments are united in a strategy to reduce and contain urban sprawl through the creation of compact, intensified and walkable cities. Governments understand that congestion can have adverse effects on the environment, quality of life and economic competitiveness. The City of Hamilton has aligned its local development policies with these goals and modern transit is viewed as an important piece of the puzzle. Hamilton is attracting a much younger demographic and these young professionals want to live, work and socialize downtown. Also, large numbers of baby boomers are downsizing their suburban homes in favor of central city communities where they can walk, cycle or take public transit to their destinations. Inflation is generally driving up prices for fuel, food and electricity. As our disposable incomes get squeezed, people are more likely to consider transit options. LRT is a major long-term investment in Hamilton's future, and while the Move Ontario 2020 plan included a provincial commitment to build modern transportation throughout the Greater Toronto and Hamilton area, no firm funding commitment has yet been made. It's expected that the provincial government will cover the lion's share of the $830 million B-Line in Hamilton. With LRT, there can be significant savings through reduced costs associated with congestion, parking, health and traffic accidents. LRT can generate increased tax assessment and development charges and any significant boost in transit share triggered by LRT will substantially benefit the City of Hamilton. Consider the annual price tag to sustain our existing road network and traffic system infrastructure. The list of local LRT supporters is growing, including the Chamber of Commerce, Jobs Prosperity Collaborative, Hamilton International Airport, various business improvement associations, environmental groups, and many citizens who have participated in public information sessions hosted by the City of Hamilton. The McMaster Institute for Transportation and Logistics has advocated the development of LRT in Hamilton since the April 2009 release of its report, A Sustainable Strategy for Developing Hamilton as a Gateway. The study views light rail transit as one of the best tools to spur transit-oriented development and as an important component of developing an effective gateway city. By itself, LRT is not a magic bullet. 
However, combined with a coordinated set of attractive urban development policies, a modern LRT system will help increase momentum towards the revitalization and renewal of the city of Hamilton.